Uh, breaking, Grayscale wins its lawsuit against the SEC over converting its fund to a spot Bitcoin ETF. So do we, wait, do we have our first spot Bitcoin ETF? Court ruling is a monumental step forward for American investors' Bitcoin ecosystem. Grayscale wins lawsuit against the SEC. U.S. Federal Appeals Court rules U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission was wrong to reject application from Grayscale for a spot Bitcoin ETF. It sounds like we're getting our first spot Bitcoin ETF. That is awesome. That's a huge win, obviously, for Grayscale, for Bitcoin and the crypto community. This cause came to be heard on the petition for review of an order of the Securities and Exchange Commission and was argued by counsel on consideration. Therefore, it is ordered and a judge that Grayscale's petition for review be granted and the commission's order be vacated in accordance with the opinion of the court filed herein this date. Dude, we agree the denial of Grayscale's proposal was arbitrary and capricious because the commission failed to explain its different treatment of similar products. We therefore grant Grayscale's petition to vacate the order. Administrative adjudication must be consistent and predictable following the basic principle and similar cases should not be treated similarly. New York Stock Exchange ARCA presented substantial evidence that Grayscale is similar across the relevant regulatory factors to Bitcoin futures ETPs. The commission failed to adequately explain why it approved the listing of two Bitcoin future ETPs, but not Grayscale's proposed Bitcoin ETP. So to clarify what's going on, before this all happened, we already had Bitcoin futures trading, Ethereum futures trading, and then all of a sudden the spot Bitcoin ETF and what a spot Bitcoin ETF is an exchange traded fund, an ETF, exchange traded fund. People funnel money into the ETF and then the ETF goes out and actually buys Bitcoin. So it is the real thing. It's real Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin futures is technically not going to be that physically delivered thing. It's going to be cash. It's cash settled. So that's what the SEC was a little bit trying to argue. But then when you looked at why they were trying to argue it, they were saying that spot Bitcoin ETF, they were worried about security and safety. And then we're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. If that's your argument, that doesn't really make sense because we can be a proper custodian for this. So basically money goes into the ETF, the ETF goes out and buys actual Bitcoin. That's why it's a spot ETF. So we have spot gold, spot silver, spot, like basically there's spot for all commodities. We know that Bitcoin is already legally defined as a digital commodity. And the fact that they already have Bitcoin futures, and then if their big issue is security in terms of storing it, well, we can fix that. So, I mean, this is not anything crazy, but this is a long time coming. The commission failed to adequately explain why it approved the listing of two Bitcoin future ETPs, but not Grayscale's proposed Bitcoin ETP. In the absence of a coherent explanation, this unlike regulatory treatment of like products is unlawful. We therefore grant Grayscale's petition to review and vacate the commission's order. So ordered. That's awesome. So it looks like Grayscale is going to be the first one with their foot in the door. I would not be surprised if you have many others very, very quickly following because basically a lot of people, a lot of companies were filing for a Bitcoin spot ETF and just no one could crack the code that would make the SEC happy. And it turns out most likely that the SEC was never going to be happy and we just needed another legal, I guess, overseer to step in and tell the SEC that they should go kick rocks. So once again, massive, massive win, obviously for Grayscale, Bitcoin, and I would argue for the crypto community at a whole and a huge and rightfully so an embarrassment for the SEC. Uh, so, hey, uh, right now in real time, Bitcoin ripping off the news, low 26,000 to above mid 27,000. So gaining almost $1,500. That is, it, and it happened rapidly. I mean, that took about 20 minutes, 30 minutes right there. That's so cool. Well, congratulations, especially to someone lucky watching this right now. I know there's some lucky duck out there who bought right before it took off for just no arbitrary reason. And you're probably already dumbfounded. So huge, huge congrats to you. Obviously, if we zoom out, Bitcoin does have a ways to go to get back to like its former fighting weight, but hey, 
Every journey starts with a step and hopefully this leads to some nice upside movement. And I think there's a legitimate argument that it could. Why this is so big, why the market is moving on this news, it wasn't just in pure celebration of the fact that the crypto community had a win. It's because this now can represent a highway on ramp for big money to get invested into crypto. So before this, you kind of had to have your own setup, whether it was like on Coinbase or Binance or something along those lines. But there was no real way for big money, Wall Street money to get into this. There was no real way for retirement accounts, which is trillions of dollars in excess of $10 trillion in the US alone to go out and get this. They just, it wasn't set up. Now, if there is an ETF, if we truly have a spot Bitcoin ETF, that is now an opportunity where, okay, regulators have to play ball. So they're setting the groundwork and then this will set up so big Wall Street money can actually get officially into crypto. And on top of that, you now have retirement accounts that can actually get access to this. So when you have trillions of dollars in just one of those alone, and even if a small per, like portion of it, small percentage decides to get Bitcoin, well, that's awesome. So obviously Bitcoin big win. I wouldn't be surprised if other companies are going to quickly follow to get their own spot Bitcoin ETF. I also wouldn't be surprised if Ethereum is going to be the next one that tries to do similar things. So Bitcoin, it's a good day to be a Bitcoin supporter. I'll definitely say that without a doubt.